Hey, Dr. Stoyer here for Doc Sports, and this video is for Sunday. That's right, Christmas Day, and Merry Christmas to you. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, whether you do stuff on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, whatever works out for you. Hope you have a wonderful time all around with your family or whomever you spend your time with. So it, really enjoy it. Hey, and I'm coming prepared. Got my uh, my tie here, all ready to go, Christmas tie and such. So we're, we're ready, okay? So get some, get some good action for you. So let's, say, let's, have a, let's have a great day. Also, I want to let you know, I'm actually filming this on Thursday, late Thursday afternoon, uh, if that's the case. And with that, I got a, a, got plays coming your way. For example, Friday, I got a bowl game ready to go on Friday. It's available at my page, okay, uh, there. On Saturday, I have the three picks, including a seven-unit best bet. And, and best bets in football the last month, I'm 6-0-1. So I've been on a great streak. So you can check that out. And, or you can get the whole package. I got three games in total. And then I also have a bunch of bowl games for next week, okay, the following week. So in all, you can get uh, the uh, six total plays for the whole package. And that, that's a great deal. And so, but specifically, they want that seven unit play also. Okay, been going great. NFL's been very good though, four, won four of the last five weeks. So, got some good stuff going there. So, take advantage of it by going to the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. Also, I'm likely to have some NBA on Christmas Day. So, you can check that out too. So, just got a lot of good stuff going on and some, and some, been hot in some, in some different areas. See if we can keep it going. All right, let's get today's free play. The, here we're looking at Green Bay at Miami, which will be the first game on Christmas Day. Um, the Miami Dolphins have, you know, they had their uh, AFC uh, postseason ticket basically um, secure, okay? But then they lost three straight games, and now they're to, to the number seven spot, the last spot, by losing those games, which were unfortunately all on the road now. I mean, players probably aren't crazy about playing on Christmas Day, but you know what? They'll be glad to be just back home, okay, having not been there for the last four weeks to play a game. So, and and needing a victory, that's, I'm sure that'll boost their morale to be at home. And by the fact that they should have beaten Buffalo last week, having that lead in the fourth quarter, just not being able to get it done, but doing so in the cold. Now, Green Bay might only be six and eight, but with Aaron Rodgers and the guys having a long history of playing well in December, well, can never count them out. They've won and covered their last two games this month. The Packers' difference-making situation has been the offense has gotten better. They've averaged 26.6 points per game in their last five outings compared to 17.1 in their first nine contests. Now, the Packers know that this is their key game because their next two are division games at home, okay, outdoors where they would have an advantage against two teams that are that are indoor teams. The victory would set the set the table for them, okay, because they're facing a, a, a Miami defense that gave up 29.3 points per game during their three-game losing streak. Now, the Packers' defense, you know, it, they play a lot of zone defense, and, and if you've watched the Packers, it hasn't been particularly good. Now, they rank 16th, which is average in terms of yards allowed, but they're going to be going up against Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. okay? Tough dudes, man. And, and those guys, if you're playing loose zone and you're not passing guys off, they can come in and just cut right through the heart of it, catch the ball for big chunk plays, or just take it all the way to the end zone. So from that standpoint, that's a, that's a tough one for the Packers to me. My guess is that Tua will be really happy to be back at home in the South Florida, the warm climate. Okay, and I think he's ultimately going to outduel Rodgers in this one. And also keep in mind the Dolphins are ten and one at home against the spread in the second half of the season since 2020. So let's take Miami minus the three and a half for our free play video. So again, just to let you know, again, I got that big seven unit play on Saturday in the NFL. I can check that out. You can get the entire card of the NFL and three bowl games for next week. So that takes you from Friday through actually it's seven bowl game now that I think about it. So that takes you Friday as, as I'm doing this video, takes you Friday through next Wednesday. So, so got lots of great action coming your way for football, a lot of bowl games as well. So you can take advantage of that. So, so that's up to you though. Okay, I'll let you handle that, that part of it. All right, so we have that. So West Coast Wise Guys play. 
uh, is also going to be on Christmas Day, and that's to take the Denver Broncos minus the two and a half over the Los Angeles Rams. So that's everything I got for you. Again, have a super Merry Christmas. Okay, enjoy yourself. Do a little gambling. Good for you. If you don't, hey, I can understand why too. So enjoy yourself. Have a great Christmas. We'll see you on the other side, okay, as we prepare for all the bowl games the following week and do all kinds of stuff. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.